Hello everyone, today I will talk about federated database. This presentation covers many topics like what is federated database, why and when to use federated database, the key features of it, an example of federated database architecture, and the advantages and disadvantages of federated database. A federated database is a logical association of independent database that provides a single, integrated, coherent view of all resources in the federation. The federation architecture makes several distinct visible databases appear as one logical database to the end users. Federations also provide a cohesive, unified view of data derived from multiple sources. The data sources for federated systems can include relational or object-based database, flat files, text documents, spreadsheets, and various other forms of structured and unstructured data. In a large modern enterprise, it is almost inevitable that different portions of the organization will use different management systems to store and search they are critical data. Competition, evolving technology, mergers, acquisitions, and geographic distribution all contribute to this diversity. Yet, it is only by combining the information from these systems that the enterprise can realize the full value of the data they contain. For example, in the finance industry, mergers are an almost commonplace occurrence. The newly created entity inherits the data stores of the original institutions. Many of those stores will be relational database management systems, but often from different manufacturers. For instance, one company may have used Sybase and another Informix. They may both have one or more document management systems, such as Documentum or IBM Content Manager for storing tax documents such as copies of loans and so on. After the merger, they need to be able to access all customer information from both sets of stores, analyze their new portfolio using existing and new applications, and in general, use combined resources of both institutions through a common interface. They need to be able to identify common customers and consolidate their account, although the different companies may have referred to their customers using, using totally different identifying keys. Federation technology can significantly ease the pain in this situation by providing a unified interface to diverse data. Now let me introduce some key features of federated database. There are transparency, heterogeneity of data sources, extensibility and openness of federation, autonomy for data sources, and data integration. Transparency, federated database masks from user difference, idiosyncrasies, and implementations of underlying data sources. Therefore, the users should not need to be able to wear where where the data is stored, what language and the programming interface is supported by the data source, how the data is physically stored, or what networking protocols are used. Heterogeneity of data sources. Heterogeneity is the degree of differentiation in the various data sources. Sources can differ in many ways. A federated database system can handle different hardware, network protocols, software, query languages, and data models. Extensibility and openness of the federation. All systems need to evolve over time. In a federated system, new sources may be needed to meet the changing needs of the user business. A good federated database system needs to make it easy to add new sources. Autonomy for data sources. Federated database does not disturb the local operation of an existing data sources. Existing applications will run unchanged. Data is neither moved nor modified. Interfaces should remain the same. 
data integration. Fed Retail Database System can integrate data from different protocols, database management systems using wrapper. And this is an architectural diagram example of a Fed Retail Database System. Remote data sources are integrated through a central federation management system. Integrated data is then presented to many analytical tools in a coherent, unified interface. The federation architecture often includes mediators, which are software agents that translate queries from a global format to local formats. For specific databases, mediators thus run queries against distributed data and return the results to a single federation data set. New data sources can be added quickly to the federation by creating wrappers for those sources. As with many integration technology, there are pros and cons to deploying a federated database system. Here are a few benefits that federated databases offer. First, federated databases offer an alternative to merging databases together, which can be a tedious task. Second, they help programmers avoid the tight coupling of applications with legacy database by eliminating vendor and schema lock-in. Applications can be written to target the intermediary layer, the federated database, as opposed to a specific database by a specific vendor. Finally, applications need only to be connected to the federated database in order to work with data from multiple databases. And these are a few issues of federated database that should be considered. There are query performance, dependency on autonomous data sources, scalability, and technical skills. Query performance with many geographically and administratively distributed data sources contributing to the federation, the query algorithms for federated database should be carefully designed for optimal performance. Otherwise, end users could experience painfully slow response times to their queries. Dependence on autonomous data sources. The federation is highly dependent on data sources that are largely beyond direct control of federation management system. These sources can change quickly and unpredictably. Thus, the people who manage the federation should be capable of rapidly responding to modifications in source systems. Scalability. Federated systems can add new data sources relatively quickly and with minimal cost, and are thus reasonably scalable architectures. However, scaling up new resources adds to the complexity of the infrastructure, adds new demands on network and query performance, and introduce data integrity issues. Technical skills. Depending on the skill and the complexity of the federated architecture, considerable expertise may be required to design and manage federated database systems. There is my reference, and thanks for watching.